So the monumental one clinical trial is an early phase clinical trial, phase one, phase two, and it did examine the um, efficacy and the safety, but also the dosing regimen of a completely new drug, a anti-GPRC5D uh, antibody, by specific antibody. And so we were looking at how high can we dose it, how should we give it to patients, and what's the most uh, effective dose that there is, and what are the side effects of this drug, because it's a completely new antigen that we are targeting on myeloma cells. So the efficacy results demonstrated that in a highly refractory population, so there were patients already receiving uh, proteosome inhibitors, immunomodulatory drugs like lenalidomide, pomalidomide, and also um, uh, daratumumab or another anti-CD38 antibody, the response rates were above 70%. So in the end, we had uh, two cohorts. One cohort is a, a bit lower dose, dosing every week. And the other dose is 0.8 milligrams per kilogram, and that's dosing every two weeks. So they were a bit different, 71 or 73 something percent, but above 70 percent response rates. And also the duration of response was a bit different between the two cohorts, but it was around a year. But it's very important in the biospecific antibodies, there's no use of dexamethasone. And then you realize how much effect that drug has on patients. So most patients felt fine, but they had a very specific uh, side effect, and that is that they had dyscusia. It means that your taste is altering and you, you, you're, you're not liking, if you're not tasting food, you're eating less food, but also a dry mouth or sometimes some pain in the mouth. So people lost weight. So that was a problem. Another side effect was that their nails are changing. So their nails are not strong anymore. They are, yeah, a bit, how do you call that? They are, you're losing your, not losing your nails, but they're, you know, they're not strong anymore. And also your, your skin gets very dry. And we had some patients that also have a side effect that they, every time they are injected with the drug, they have a red bum for three days afterwards. So it's not a big problem, but they are reacting to the drug even after. Um, several uh, cycles um, and we haven't seen that uh, before in, in this type of um, immune therapy but we do know this of course from classical chemotherapy that you don't eat that your taste is different or that you have uh, nail problems or skin problems and so these are the side effects that that we see they are there all the time because it's a therapy that you have to continue and and we are looking as to diminish those side effects, of course, with some additional care for your skin or for your mouth, but also with dose reducing or dose frequency reducing. So instead of every two weeks, if you are nicely in remission, then we dose, uh, we give the same dose every four weeks, for example, and then we see, we do see that there is a decrease in the, in these side effects. So in that sense, I do believe we have step-up dosing, like we have with every biospecific antibody. Uh, so we have uh, two or three step-up doses, and then we go to the full dose, and that's still all in hospital, because you can have a cytokine release syndrome after every step-up dose or after the first full dose, and you can have it twice, for example. You can have it on the second step-up and the full dose. So we do that in the hospital, and I think afterwards, what I like is, of course, the bi-weekly schedule, so every two weeks, and so one injection every two weeks. And I like to dose reduce when you are in remission in a VCPR or CR that we go to every four weeks. But that's not the official one yet. I think the official one, it's not a registered drug, so we don't know what's the official one, but I think it will be one, uh, one injection every two weeks. So not in a working mechanism, that's the same for all bispecifics, but it's unique because of the antigen that it's targeting. So GPRC5D is highly expressed on myeloma cells. It is also expressed on uh, normal plasma cells, uh, and it's ex expressed a bit on the skin and your taste organ. So that's why we see these strange side effects, but that's a very low rate. What we don't see as much as with other uh, bispecific antibodies targeting BCMA is that we don't see that many infections. 
So that's a problem, can be a problem with the other, uh, with the Teclista map, for example. Uh, and we don't see that with the uh, GPRC5, the Talcate map targeting by a specific antibody. Uh, so this is a, a unique uh, antigen, and that's good, because we need, after we had CD38, that's Isatuximab or Daratumumab, we had BCMA, now we have GPRC5D, and we also have other antigens. And that's good because then you can sequence therapies again for patients or combine, but we can, we can target your myeloma on a different antigen, perhaps, uh, which is still highly expressed then. So that's good. So it means that not at the moment because it's never it's it's only available now in clinical trials it's not registered in any country but what it means it's a new therapeutic option so that's always good news that's still the problem with myeloma if you can't cure you need new therapies which work on a different way on a different antigen so that's what it means hope again <laughs>